Sitting alone in the first row, Dr. Timothy Glasspool listened on as parents voiced their fierce opposition to his hiring. I do not agree with this hiring. There is a moral issue here, and that is what concerns me. I respectfully request the board postpone the point of the vote. How can we trust you, Mr. Glasspool? How? Things got personal after Jody Winwood got up to speak. School board president Joel Whiteco switching gears by chastising her for an unrelated legal issue in Winwood's past. But I have a whole list of stuff. Whiteco, whose tenure is coming to an end, unloaded on Winwood and okay, others. So that's right. I'm going, and that's why I just, I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm going to tell you what it's like. I'm tired of you coming in here. Is and the violence and intimidation of your. You, no, you're not talking. You're not talking. By the end of this tense meeting, Dr. Glasspool was named superintendent and addressed the room. Some of the issues that happened in Plum uh, weren't necessarily my fault, but they were my responsibility as superintendent to, to deal with. I am happy to sit down with any family in the community that would like to speak with me about this or any other concerns they have. Glasspool has not been charged with a crime in the sex abuse scandal, and he's currently the superintendent at Pencrest. A grand jury report several years ago suggested administrators were derelict in their mandatory reporting duties at Plum and that Glasspool preferred sensitive material not be written down. Dr. Glasspool, the grand jury report in 2016, well, if I could just ask you, the grand jury report in 2016 says that you had a no documentation policy. Are you going to have a documentation policy here in Bel Vernon? Is it true that you had a no documentation policy at Plum? Whiteco, meanwhile, did talk to us after the meeting, and he remained defiant about both his conduct tonight and his support for Glasspool. Do you regret anything you said? No. So you don't see what happened in Plum as an institutional failure, as the grand jury reports? It suggested. happens every day. It happens here. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I've been through stuff like that. I've been through it. How old are you? Uh, how is that relevant? If I'm comfortable with it, and we're the board. You know, if I'm comfortable with it, it's all cool. Right. I don't care. I'm unprofessional. That's the way I am. There's a lot of people that were at Plum that didn't see it. Well, why didn't Dr. Glasspool see it? He was the superintendent. <laughs> In Bel Vernon, Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.